Hi guys and welcome to 1, 2, 3, My T's video on how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8 inch. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you've backed up all your data on your tab before you attempt this video. Also make sure you charge your tab, make sure you've got 75% or more battery life on your Galaxy Tab. Install the proper drivers, so you can do this by installing keys, and I'll show you how to do that. Keys. So you go to the Samsung site, download keys and install it. All right. We don't want to update it right now, but you can see we've got the Samsung Galaxy tab here in the connected devices. If we wanted to check the device driver, we would right click the start button, go down to device manager, open up device manager and we would just check to see under portable devices we should actually have our Galaxy Tab here, the SMT310. Uh, now if you don't have this here or you've got an asterisk that means you haven't got keys installed so go onto the internet, go onto the Samsung uh, website and download the version of keys for your, for your tab. The other files you will need is Odin. Odin is the tool that we'll use to uh, root your Samsung Galaxy Tab and you will also need the root itself and the recovery file you also need okay so if you want to get those three files as well guys they're on the 123myit website so in the so open up a web browser type in www.123myit.com go to that page click on downloads and that will take you to the downloads page here scroll all the way to the bottom and you will have Odin version 3.07 click here so you want to click and download that one under where it says files needed to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8 inch you've got file name root underscore SGT3 8.0 zip so you want to download that one we also want to download the recovery file here which is the TRP TWRP underscore T3 31x underscore r3.tar file and we want to download that one all right so once we've got those downloaded uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to extract the odin file so double click on that one click on odin click on extract extract all and then just dump it to your desktop so i've already dumped it out there Okay, so the next step here, we'll need to actually go into the Odin file that we've opened up, and you'll have the Odin file there. We can run it. We just want to hit yes if that prompts up. Now you can see that uh, it's already come up in green. So if I unplug my Samsung Galaxy Tab, you can see now it's removed. So it says down here added and then removed. Now I'm going to plug it back into my USB port here. All right, and it's picked it back up. It's on COM port 3. Okay, guys, so the next step is to turn off your Galaxy Tab. We just want to power it off there, and we want to put it into download mode. All right, to do that, we're going to hold down the Home button. We're going to hold down the Power button, and we're going to hold down the Volume Down button. All right, for five seconds. Let it go once you see this warning screen come up. So I'll show you that now. So this is the download mode and it says warning. A custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed in applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key. Otherwise, press the volume down key to cancel. Okay, so, okay, so once we're in download mode, you just hit the up volume button. It should then go into uh, download mode and then we want to go back into Odin we want to click on PDA and select the TWRP file and then click open all right and then we just want to hit start now you should get some uh, recovery uh, data coming up there you can see the tab will turn off and reset itself
Okay, guys. So once you've uh, managed to install the recovery on your device, the next step here is to copy this root file to your device. Okay, so we're going to right click and copy, and we're going to open up Windows Explorer. Go go into your device. So in this case here, it's the one two three my it uh, sm dash t three ten. Uh, click on the tablet and just go into download and we want to we want to uh, right click then and go paste and we want to copy uh, this root file to the tab okay so what we want to do is plug your tab back into your PC and copy this root file that we downloaded to your tablet okay guys so the next step now is to uh, put the device in recovery mode. So we've just installed recovery and we've put the file, root file on the uh, tab itself. So now we want to put the tab in recovery mode. And to do that, we're going to hold down the home button, hold down the power button, hold down the volume up button all at the same time. Once we see this logo come up, let go, and we should now see our recovery mode. Once we're in recovery mode, we want to hit the install button. We want to go to our download file where we just put the root button. We want to select it, okay? Now it says this operation may install incompatible software and render the device unusable, okay? So we know that, so it's just uh, giving us a warning that, you know, it could um, make our device unusable, that's fine. So what we want to do now is we just want to swipe to confirm the flash. Okay, it says successful, and once we do that we just want to hit reboot system. Okay guys, so if you just want to verify the root, you can go into the Play Store, log into your Play Store, hit search, go to Root Checker and type in Root Checker. In this case, we're going to use this Root Checker with the big tick here. We just want to go open because I've already installed it. Okay, and we want to just hit Verify Root. Okay, and you can see there it's come up. Congratulations, this device has root access. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye bye.